Hello, my name is John Lee, and I'm the president of Alpha Training and Consulting, and I have a true passion for preparing students for ASQ certification exams. However, today I'm going to answer the question, how do I become an ASQ CBA? CBA standing for Certified Biomedical Auditor. Well, step one is get the desire and fulfill the prerequisites. What are the prerequisites? Candidates must work, have worked in a full-time paid role, and requires five years of work experience. Now, if you have an associate's degree, you only need four years of experience. If you have a bachelor's degree, you only need two years of experience. And if you have a master's or doctorate's degree, you only need one year of experience. Now, you can go to the ASQ website and check on that to make sure nothing has changed since the time of this recording. But this has been pretty solid for years, so you should be in good shape. Step two, Prepare to take the exam. This is the most time-consuming element in the whole process. You can visit my website at www.asqcba.com to learn more about the class we offer. We have a great class to help you pass the CBA certification exam. We prepare students for most of the ASQ certification exams. We've been doing it for 20 years, 20 years of continuous process improvement. Well, we have a great class waiting for you should you desire to take advantage of that. Here are all the lectures we have in the class. We also have the uh, Indiana Quality Council primer uh, to go over with this also. Anyway, it's a great class. I hope you'll consider that. Step three, sign up for the ASQ CBA exam. Watch my video entitled How to Sign Up for an ASQ Exam. It'll answer all your questions on how to get that accomplished. ASQ tests on the ASQ CBA exam every other month starting on January. It's called the January cycle. So you, you, it's offered in January, skips February, tests again in March, skips April, tests in May, etc. Every other month throughout the year, usually the first week they open it up and uh, then a couple weeks open window to take the exam. Now you need to apply to the, for that exam approximately one month before you take it or earlier, I'd recommend earlier because if you don't, you may say, hey, I still says I can sign up for this. You sign up for it, but you go to the sign up to sit for the exam at the testing center and guess what, all the seats are filled. Well, then you have to wait for the next cycle. So be sure to apply earlier than later. Again, go to the ASQ website to get the latest on this uh, uh, as far as the schedule goes. So now you're signed up for the exam What's your probability of passing this exam? The CBA is a very difficult exam. Yeah, the population that take the exam, 66% pass it. Okay, so that means what? 34% um, do not. How many hours do I think it will take you to prepare, successfully prepare for this certification exam? If you take my class, it's about an 80-hour prep time for this uh, certification but it's money well spent. Step five, pass the ASQ exam and celebrate, <laughs> okay? Well, that's a wonderful feeling to pass these off. Now, I didn't really find anything specific on ASQ uh, CBA certification. So the closest I could come to is Quality Auditor and they got a salary of 51,000 uh, approximately per year. I'm pretty sure the CBA is gonna be higher than that because you're working in the medical device industry but uh, I didn't get any data on that. I looked for it, just couldn't find it. So anyway, uh, hopefully you'll consider this certification. It's a great certification. We've been preparing students for this certification since it was announced uh, from ASQ that it would be a certification. Of course, I passed it, and we've been continually improving it over time. Uh, hopefully you'll consider me to help you prepare for this exam. You can contact me through my website at alphatc.com and go to the Contact Us option and uh, send me a message. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you, and have a great day. Goodbye.